was. And you know why I said that drag? To freak you the f And to see if you would show me that. Uh, uh, oh no. What are you gonna do? You're gonna just send a bunch of fucking people over to my house over and over and over again? Guess what? CPS is already in my life. There's already an open file. They already know what I'm doing. And the cops, they... I'll do this for you, Drag. The cops, they have a case open right now looking at what you're doing to me. Yeah. So. That's why I put it on his latest video. I said the cops know about these people that are falsely calling CPS. They know you're part of it. And CPS knows about it, too. Yeah, CPS knows about it. I keep showing the authorities and everyone, every single one of your videos trying to harass me yep. and try to get me upset and try to get me to feel bad about myself because I am not going to kill myself for you. I refuse to kill myself for you guys. I refuse to cry for you guys or feel bad about you guys. You've done nothing but for eight years give me hell by giving one call to CPS over another call over CPS over another call of CPS over another call of CPS. And I know most of them were my fucking paranoid, delusional mother trying to seek her little fucking revenge sticks at her. And she thinks she can get away with it still. But she can't anymore. She can't. CPS already knows about the abuse that you've done to me. The years of abuse. It's been documented how many files, mother? How many times have you tried to get me in trouble with CPS and they found nothing? You think they're gonna continue to harass me over and over and over and over again when they find nothing? Are you that fucking stupid, mother? But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut our relationship off permanently. Permanently. I don't want you in my life. I want nothing to do with you. You are completely crazy. You ruined my whole life. You ruined a bunch of things in my life that were good and solid in my life. Just because you hate me. Just because you wanted to see me aborted. Well, Mom, I have to tell you something. I really wish you... I really wish you did abort me so I didn't have to feel this anymore. So I didn't have to feel this pain anymore. So I didn't have to feel a rejection of a mother that caused me to have borderline personality and caused me to have severe fucked up problems, which I'm getting therapy for, thank God. So, so, and that's not cute though, CPS is me getting therapy. So you can go and try to do this, oh my god, a crazy thing, but guess what, the government's already monitoring me, mother. Yeah. They already know. You're just wasting their fucking time, idiot. Yeah, they're getting sick of it, actually. Yeah, they're getting sick of it. Actually, a supervisor last time CPS came here and started asking questions about you, mother. Yeah. And the abuse you put me through. Because at this point, you're not abusing a child. You're abusing a vulnerable adult, someone who has borderline personality, and you are one of her main triggers. And know it. It is documented by therapists, by government officials, by police, and this is going to end. This whole harassment thing is going to end. I had enough of this shit. If I want to go and suck my husband's cock on camera, in front of my camera, in the privacy of my bedroom, when my door is closed, when my kids are asleep, I can fucking suck the fuck out of my husband's cock. Or when they're in school, I can fuck the fuck out of him and put it on camera and make some fucking money. Yeah. And you know what? The police officer said I had every legal right to do what I did. Yes. I can do it. Because yes. guess what? I'm an adult, and this is fucking America. Yeah. And if you honestly think your kids away from sex workers, you have another thing coming. Because sex workers have more rights than your dumbass. As parents. Because there's laws to protect sex workers now from idiots like you. Because people like you can't seem to think that you can be a sex worker. You can be a sex worker and be a very good parent. Yep. You can. What are you gonna do? Call CPS. I don't care. Do it. Call the police. Do it. Harass me some more. Let's, let's just Let's just have it more documented that you're using the police to harass us. Let's have it more documented. Because we know, we know on November 22nd, you put false police report out between me and my husband and said that we were violating restraining order and you tricked that poor fucking police officer to arrest us. And now she's in horrible problems because of you. Because the order of protection was eliminated in August. And guess what? We have an actual person who actually witnessed that. The, the annihilation of the restraining order. And that's no one but Agent of Doubt. Agent of Doubt, if you would like to make a video verifying that you saw that the restraining order was eliminated, that would be nice. Why do you think he's not making videos on this shit anymore? Because he knows it's fucking stupid and it's done. It was just you fucking idiots making making a big deal out of nothing. He actually came to us to meet us, to warn us about you guys. Did you know that? So, so, go ahead. I'm just going to turn everything in that you make of me. Every harassment, every video to the police now. To authorities. To the CPS to everyone to show that you are actually troublemakers and trying to look into things that there aren't. My kids are fed, they are clothed, they go to school, they go through therapy, they go to my, my autistic kid who has IEP, he goes to therapy. My oldest who has high anxiety thanks to you guys, 
over sending CPS over to my children over the years, over and over again. Oh, it's also documented of the psychological trauma CPS has caused my children of you constantly bringing them in my child's life. That's actually documented too. And right now, if you didn't know about it, President is actually trying to fix the corruption within CPS and the abuse of power that's been going on within CPS. And all your little things are going to be gone. And I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of your threats. Because that's all they are, are threats. And I have nothing, absolutely nothing to hide. Hammer. So you can go continue to accuse me of things over and over and over and over again. But everything you accuse me of isn't true. It's lies. It's all baseless accusations. It's pretty fucking weird that you believe baseless accusations. What are you gonna do? You gonna call CPS and say that they're violating a restraining order? You think that's gonna work this? No. Huge, huge, huge trouble. Trump will trouble because of this. Playing their little games because they think they're gonna intimidate us. But guess what? You already fucking broke me. You can't intimidate someone who already wants to die. And needs therapy because they want to die. You can't. You already broke me. And even if I did go to jail because of these stupid idiots, I wouldn't care about that either. Even if you took my kids, I wouldn't take care of that either. That CPS will constantly be involved in their life, and at least they can have a fucking break from it. Yeah. And, and I know that my 13 year old will come back to me in five years anyway when he turns 18. Mm -hmm. Because he loves me regardless of what you stupid idiots have to say. And do you honestly think that it, it, me doing porno is gonna get my kids taken away when there's so many fucking rights now to sex workers? And what kind of fucking atheist are you attacking sex workers? Like, you're attacking sex workers. What kind of atheist are you? What kind, what kind of secularist are you? What kind of man are you, really? Attacking sex workers. <laughs> Only fans is on. I just blocked your stupid asses and you can't put back on them because unfortunately in order to sign to Only fans you have to put your ID down. And they're not going to allow you back to me to harass me. Sorry about that. All my other people see me. I got to have revs spit in my mouth. And I choked, and it was hilarious. Yeah. So you can go and say, I don't care. Guess what? I'm in my bedroom. My kids are asleep. I'm free to be a juice. I'm free to be a performance artist. I'm free to be wacky on camera and go, <laughs> and laugh. I'm free to do that. I'm free now. And I'm going to be even freer on Monday. Because I'm finally going to do something that I should have done years ago. Years ago. But I kept letting her back thinking she'd change. She never changed. She always got worse and more vicious and more hateful toward me. You know? Mother, if you love me, maybe you should show me love and support. Maybe not bash me. You don't really worry about me and I doubt you'll do anything other than call people. Oh no! I'm so afraid! Do you realize- Are you that fucking stupid about my son's age? You do realize William's almost 13 now. Do you honestly see, think CPS are going to go against my child's wishes? Do you think the judge is actually going to look my 13-year-old in his face and be like, Sorry, you can't be with your mom because she does something in the privacy of her bedroom? It does violate my constitutional rights. Guess what? I'm a sex worker. I'm a sex worker. I make sex tapes. I make sex videos. And because I make sex videos, guess what? It is protected under free speech. It is my First Amendment, Amendment right to do this. So if you have a problem with sex work, that's on you. But, Drag, I must say, you must never look at a porno again because there are so many parents that are sex workers and so many parents now that are in the next room shooting a porno when their kid is sleeping because they have to, because it's how they survive, it's how they make money, and they make good damn money, and it is good money. It is damn good money. So I am stopping. So go ahead, take my kids away from me. I don't care. They know it's bullshit, and I know it's bullshit. And guess what? CPS knows it's bullshit. And guess what? The police knows it's bullshit too, because I gave them the video you just sent me. So call the police. I sent them all my information. They also, the police also have my OnlyFans. They know I'm on OnlyFans. So go ahead, go to the police, call them, tell them I'm on OnlyFans. already know. What the fuck? Janice. You as the chess player. You were one step ahead of Dragon. Yep. Because guess what we did tonight? Shannon had the presence of mind, and I believe it was from the middle finger, because he talks to her all the time. She, you're honey, you're about to flash people. No, I'm not. I swear I'm not. Okay. I promise. Okay. I bet. Okay, folks. This is a huge after Okay? Listen. She called the Westminster police. Or, sorry. Holy shit. Get that off right now. Get it off. 
We call Boulder Police. Get it off. We call Boulder Police no, get the hang off. and Westminster Police and all the police in the area yeah, where it's right, at. Because it's all in that area. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm still jet lagged from being in Tokyo. I apologize. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm still mesmerized by the trains. But anyway, <laughs> she had the presence of mind to call the authorities that are involved in the area. That's what I meant. Yeah, the, 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 the area you think we're living in. Yeah, exactly, because the, the Twitter people. Exactly. You're wrong about that, though. Yeah. Anyway, you, she was amazing. So, Dragnaut, like almost programmed by God to be an idiot, does this with CPS. This is great. He's going to get, I don't know, jail, jail time or not, but hey, whatever. You know? That's the end of the story. Yeah. That's the end of the story. Exactly. It? We called all the places in the area. Yep. That's and, what um, exactly. told them about you guys. Exactly. Exactly. I do. Do you have OnlyFans too? No, Jason. Has only, he's he's mine. That's the only porn I'll ever do with you. So. Bobby, go to my, go to my OnlyFans. Anyway. God, I admire her. Yeah, I, I'm getting rid of uh, Cheese Green Thunder Grey. Don't 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 push your shit onto my no. channel. This is if if you want to promotion on my channel, you're gonna have to pay. I'm a whore. Okay, I, I'm not for this shit. Okay. She wants her money now. You've been in service to YouTube for how long, Jan? 13 years. You want your money. I want my money. Mm. You want your money? I do. You so. You deserve it. So, Drag, the police already know. Right. CPS already know. Yep. Mom's going to be taken care of on Monday. Um. Yep. And I guess. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. So have a nice day. Enjoy. Enjoy going to jail for false reporting. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy the wife that can't stand you. And there's a good reason why she can't stand you, because you're not a man. And if I met you now, after this shit, I wouldn't even talk to you. I would look at you and walk away. And walk away. I wouldn't even talk to them. The Lord touched him on the shoulder. And everyone, everyone eventually is going to realize what kind of person you are because right now, literally, you are trying to get sex and get them in trouble from being parents and being sex. Yeah. Uh, so where's the atheist? Outrage? Where are the, yeah, where's your atheist outrage for this? Yeah. If a Christian did this, if a Christian did this to an atheist who was a, who was in pornography, they would be outraged. They would be the worst Christian ever. Yeah. It's okay to do it to me, right? Yeah, there's a comparable Right? There is a comparable situation. Is, is that your look? Is that because I do pornography and I suck my titty in front of you? Ah. I'm gonna get it if you want me to. Just go to Twitter and you'll see. Ah. Do you think you're special because I lift my titty? Yeah. Honey, I've lifted my titty in front of a lot of men lately. You're not that special. You know who's been getting a lot of special treatment? Because he's not even online, but I've been giving him my shit. Shut his key. He has to give him special treatment because he loves me and he treats me with respect. And if he's gonna love me and treat me with respect and have me be his lady, yeah, I'm down with that shit. I'm not down with disrespectful men who wanna put women down and slut shame them like you. Wow, you've become awfully Christian and conservative, drag. Yeah. Oh. Awfully Christian and conservative. I'm the ultimate sis. I'm, however, confused about your channel name, though. Why? How is it? Why? I love Jesus. Yeah. I love you, Jesus. You give me hope. Jesus never let me go. You can be... Wait, I have to You can be cool. You can be privileged and straight from the hood. Jesus loves you. Yes, we know. Wow. I'm seeing in Trisha. Trisha inspired me to do OnlyFans. Yeah. Well, actually, me and Jason have been talking about it for a long time because it's fun. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it is. And, and you know what? I'm 36 years old. I only have, like, a few years left of actually being, like, a woman oh. before I fucking dry up. Hey. I'm going through perimenopause right now. It's okay. So, I'm doing that. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Why not have fun with my life? Oh, and why not go to somewhere where, what? Give me one, one minute here. Just, yeah, I'll Come be on the other side. Sorry, honey. I apologize. Oh. I just have to say something really quick, because I knew this was going to happen before it happened, that it was said that my performance was absolutely pathetic and sad. If you look at the end of the video when she's squirming, she she squirted. Okay. Drag is saying all these lies about our porn. Actually, he uh, really is. Yeah, it's lies. He he knows it's good. Go to my Twitter. Go to my Twitter right now, and you can see how good my moves are and how good I. And the people on the site love it. They do, and they tip us. They tip us to yeah to do some pretty crazy stuff, but we do it because it's cool and it's fun and it's fun. It's, yeah, some things we've never done before. Very strange, but it's cool. Some people get off from it. So look, here's the thing. Our our goal our goal is to oh. love. Our, our, our goal on our site is to love our, our clients yeah. and to make them feel like they're wanted and desired. Yes. That's what we make our clients feel That's like. That's what pornography in its pure form is meant for. It's meant to it's meant to encourage and make you, to give you confidence. 
That mm -hmm. in its purest form, porn. That's what porn is good for. Exactly. It gets you comfortable to get naked and be like, oh, I love you, you know? Damn, you're a legend, dude. Well, God bless you. The bad wolf, thank you. He's probably saw your dick. I don't know about that. How'd you like it? <laughs> oh my God. I like it. I'm so shy about that, man. But I am not ashamed of my. So Rev is Dustin, not a milf. What? I don't know. Well, you are a milf, yeah. Mm -hmm. You're I'm a big milf. You're, you're, <gasps> this could be Rev and Shannon after dark. Yeah, that, well, we got 34 viewers, so yeah, yeah you could rename it that. Rename it. I know. Dustin out of milf. She's really not dusty. Her vagina is extremely wet. So much that it's like a sea in there. I call it the well watered valley of Shannon. And it's, a ri it's just this beautiful river of flowing waters. The QT pipe. Oh, uh, hi, Mercedes, you sexy bitch. She's hot. She's hot. Yeah. This it's is really cool. I like this shit, though. Yeah. Mm. This is fun, you know? Being an official sex worker. Never thought I'd see my face on a camera saying something like that. But it happened. And I think it's a beautiful thing because it's a Trump era thing. It's, uh, I'm making the shirts. Hashtag, hashtag making marriage great again. Yeah. Okay. Basically, what we're doing is we're showing how sex really is. Making love. Making love. Yes. Yeah, Not that stupid porno shit. Yeah. Where people are choking each other. It's fucking stupid. It's not, it's not enjoyable. No. I, I, we show ourselves making love. It's soft. It's sensual. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah. <laughs> like an artist. Yeah, Lulu, no, no, just go away. What? You're just, you're just rude for the sake of being rude. Yeah, th this work is fundamentally American. This work. Oh, like, fundamentally, like, 21st century <laughs> shit. But it's American, too, because we export so much porn, it's insane. True. It's true, we do. True. And I don't endorse, and, and yeah, I don't endorse and, it. And, and yeah, even though you gave us a fake Snoop fan page. Yeah, that was, yeah, we knew it was you the whole time, by the way. We suspected it. Yeah, yeah that's why we were playing with you. Yeah. Anyway, doesn't mean that Snoop doesn't watch us. Whatever. That would be cool, but... <laughs> I think they did an elaborate little thing to try and make it look Well, like what they were thing. trying to do was scam us out of $200. Yeah, which didn't succeed. No. So. Because I ain't gonna give you money for you to give me money. That's just dumb. Yeah, no judgment here, Bad Wolf. I, I mean, I, I could tell you testimonies where, you know, I got involved in this community. Can I get a hell yeah? Okay, hell yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> no, I should do that with Vigor. Because uh, I just downloaded, like, a bunch of Pantera albums on my phone. <laughs> so, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah is supposed to be. That's a band, actually. A horrible metal band. And they try to, they, worldwide, that's Luke, oh my god. Hi Luke, dog, I, I fucking love that shit, worldwide. Real question, Rev isn't worried about suffocating, why? No. Do you know the most popular physique for a woman for face-sitting is thick? Guys, the people that are into face-sitting videos like the shape of a woman's contour on her ass, the top of her ass, and around there, and in this region, you know what I'm talking well, about. Well, plus, also, you'd think an experienced, you know, sexual being would know to have control oh, over knowing how to straddle a face and not suffocate it. Look at Luke, uh, show me more. God bless him, you know. Like, I, you know, there's, there's a way how you can, like, position your butt where you don't have to, be, you don't have to be, like, choking on people, you know what I mean? Exactly. You, you know, I wish I could, I wish I could, like, explain it, you know? You, you just, you just have to, like, position it, like, right, you know? Yeah. Like, I just, like, like seriously, like, yeah. you take, you take this moogle, right? And you, like, strap it down, but you go, like, Damn. a little higher, Ooh. where it, like, kind of hovers over the nose, so moogle. you don't suffocate it. That's a lucky moogle. I know, it's a really good moogle. I mean, look at it. It's, like, lucky. it's, like, right down there. Yeah, he's happy. Like, seriously. And people are going to be, like, the Christians that don't like it. So, anyway, yeah. why wouldn't I have the skill to know what I'm doing? Yeah, no, you do. Oh, my God, look like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Red's not sexy at all. Because you're large and in charge. It, that's right, I'm large and in charge, which means I have control over not suffocating him. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Red is not sexy at all. Yeah, I, I would agree. Yeah. I, I agree with You that. haven't felt this. Well, that's, that, yeah, that's true. You haven't felt that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but that, but see, that's cool. I, Because I agree with that. I wouldn't want to watch myself in porn either. I, I'm not fit enough for it. But Oh, can you show... You want me to do a face in on him? Um, Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> that's fine. You only fulfilled it. I like Red Blonde. Yeah, I like, I love this hair though, dude. I, it changed, like, my personality almost, too. <laughs> like, I didn't give a fuck before, but now I really don't give a fuck. I, something changed with my hair, man. When I dyed it black. What the fuck are you doing? Fergie. Oh, that's Fergie, okay. I have London Bridge stuck in my head. It's a great song. That's a very good song. Nobody can deny that shit. <laughs> Me, Rev, and... That's fine. You only fulfills it. I like Rev Blonde. Yeah, I like, I love this hair though, dude. I, it changed, like, my personality almost, too. Like, I didn't give a fuck before, but now I really don't give a fuck. I, something changed with my hair, man, when I dyed it black. What the fuck are you doing? Fergie? Oh, that's Fergie, okay. I have London Bridge stuck in my head. It's a great song. It's a very good song. Nobody can deny that shit. <laughs> Me, Rev, and I have the same little booty. <laughs> 
Oh, are you like what they call a twink dude? Because I see like a, a hentai avatar. Not hentai, sorry. No, I think he's like into you. Yeah, a twink, right? He looks... Face it with glasses, pretty please. That is a weird kink. I, but, okay, whatever. You just want to see my glasses break on my face. Oh. No, I'm not trans. At all. I'm not trans at all, dude. Or woman. I don't know if you're a dude or, or chick. Have you guys thought of clown makeup as a theme? ICP. Ooh. So we're definitely doing. Dude. We're definitely doing Harley and Joker porn. Oh, definitely. Yeah, that's a. Cos it. That's probably gonna be the first cosplay, probably. If not, uh, they did a bad, bad thing. They did a bad, bad thing. I'm not gonna edit that and shit. I'm gonna do editing on that, so it's gonna be like a little scene. You're gonna make Stanley Kubrick happy. I God bless him. He's in heaven. He believed in Jesus and hated the New World Order and told us that the moon landing was a hoax. Okay. No, I don't think people realize how things are changing. There's like 2020, there was like an energy shift. Yeah, I felt it. In reality. Yeah. And like the injustice that was like 2016, 2018, 2019 Nando. has been flipped over and now justice is seeking its hand. Yeah, that's true. So everything these fucking weird people have been doing is going to be eliminated. You notice how everyone's now talking about like anti bullying and Chubby stuff? Chubby Chasers Unite. Holy shit. Chubby Chasers Unite. Ooh. Oh God, I love me Chubby Chasers. Yeah, uh, well. Ooh. You gotta get some private time. Ooh. With 666 man. You know? Good chemistry. What? The, like, her the heretic anthem by Slipknot. Uh, oh, look, foot porn. Foot porn. Ooh, you see that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? No, your feet are off. Ooh. Well, look at that. That's a good shot. Look I do that. need look to. Look at that gorgeous foot. Shannon, I need to do some artsy videos for your channel with your feet. Okay. Yep, yeah, because people love that shit. Hope your young lens don't walk in. Well, there's called locks. <laughs> And it's called 1125, and what growing boy is awake at 1125? Yeah. <sighs> no, the kids are asleep at that. What about a foot fetish? Oh, definitely. There's definitely foot fetish shit going on. Oh! Definitely. I have a foot fetish. You, what? Can you eat a flat ro ravioli for us? <sighs> yeah. Okay. All right, all right, I'll, I'll do that. I know they have to get tips for this shit, yep. right? They know that, right? The request. Use a strap out on Rev and Dom. No. No, I'm not doing that. I wouldn't feel right doing that. First of all, me doing that would make me feel very masculine. And I, I'm, <sighs> I like being a cisgendered female. It is my choice. So no, I don't want to do any of that. Anal. Plus also, I'm just going to be honest. Anal sex really fucking smells. And I can't fucking stand the smell of it. Even, even that lingering, even if it's not too stinky, you know, that lingering smell. Oh, I can't stand that. It's gross. It's gross. No, it is I'm not gonna. I'm not going to go and rape my noses with that. Stuff. Yeah, I don't blame it at all. Did this turn into a Tarantino movie? Probably. Maybe. Maybe possibly. Yeah, if you know Quentin, get him on the phone for us. We'll do a movie. Fuck yeah. What about electric shock lock and to PPD sense? Oh my god. I, I don't know. I don't know. Just, just, just get it this way. You're seeing us sexually exploring. So. Are they talking about electro shock therapy? I think like you put these things on your nipples and they shock them. Oh, that shit, okay. Yeah. They have the, they have the like that. They also have a third clip. Oh. We gotta go make a trip to, uh, certain places. Maybe. Yes. How does Shani smell like down there, cat urine? No. No. She's never smelled like cat piss. Christ. Well, you said it, idiot. Yes, I did say it, and I am an idiot, and I acknowledge that, damn it. Don't tell it. Well, goddamn. <laughs> Make Rev wear women. Good God, man. I want to. Damn. <laughs> Hope the younglings are out of the house and safe from you, sickos. Hope. What the fuck? All right, fine. You're gone. Yeah, they're they're gone. Yeah, fuck them. Any negativity in live chat is just going to get banned. That's it. Yeah. That was Luke Dog that said that. What? Yeah. Okay. Like, why is that? Whatever. Like I said, everybody's wow, like you, what parents don't have sex in their bedroom? Yeah. I don't know what's happened to people, but they're insane now. They're just fucking idiots. They're idiots. No. You're just stupid people. You're dumb. We just, we have sex and we record it. What's the big deal? We still be having sex with the kids in the house. You can have sex with your kids in the house, though. You can have sex with your kids in the house? Wow. Oh my god. That's amazing, isn't it? We See, I'm glad this is happening. I'm glad this is happening because this is showing the sex workers that watch me their ignorance that needs to really change. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like. I think that, Jen, I think that there's something severely wrong 
with a lot of people uh, in specifically the G plus community. Yeah, I think there's. Yeah, I think there's. In all honesty, I think well, is a bunch of sociopathic narcissists found each other in groups. Yeah. And they're going and they're going against people that they deem weaker and think they can get a rise out of. Yes, I can watch me. Oh my God, Wise Eye! I'm sorry, baby, that they didn't give you a notification. The young one has already been removed, and they are happy about it. Why would my sons be happy about being taken away from their mother that they love? Exactly. And, and they tell people they love. Yeah, teachers, everybody, everybody they come in contact with. Oh my God, you are sick in the head, and you use you. This is how sick I'm trying to use my children to get a rise out of. Yeah. But I'm the one using the children, even though they're using authorities to harass me to get a rise out of me. And hence, traumatizing my children again and causing worryment that they're going to lose their parents. Yeah. Do you think about the psychological trauma that you're giving? Yeah, they don't care. Or do you, yeah, they probably don't care. Probably they're probably that much shit human beings that they just don't care. Yeah, not only that. It's okay, it's okay. On Judgment Day, you will get your due reward. I guarantee it. But see, you're doing shit. Yeah, Jesus Christ loved his prostitutes. Have you not read the Bible? Yeah. He loves his sex workers. You know why he loves the sex workers? Sex workers really do have good hearts. Yeah. They love, and all they do is give love out to people. They don't give hate. They give love. They're virtues of love. I agree. And they want to make the person feel good. Mm -hmm. Because that's how they know they're doing their job right, is when the other person feels good. I totally agree with that. So, I don't know about you, but I'm going to treat my clients with respect, and I'm going to love them, yep. and I'm going to take care of them. And I'm going to make sure that they are taken care of. But no, just to be clear, that that blood brain, there's someone in there, but they said, I, I no offense, you're not sexy. You know? I, I just have to tell them that I totally agree with that, and I'm not watching myself this morning, okay? I'm not going to be a different, you know. Ooh, donate some of your earnings to Hookers for Jesus. Yeah. Huh? I love Hookers for Jesus. I think they're amazing. I love that organization. This whole situation is just gross. It is gross. It is gross. Because what it's doing is it's exposing people who are just doing their job and, and saying they're shitty parents for doing their job. Yeah. Where are the atheists supporting? Yeah, where are the supporting sex workers? Yeah. Where are the sex worker supporters? That's a good question. My OnlyFans is up. Yeah. If you can't access my OnlyFans, it's probably because I blocked you because I found out what you were doing. Yeah, this restricted me. It's my content, first of all. It's OnlyFans content. It is copyrighted. And you stealing it and distributing it to other people is not something I agree with. And I don't think OnlyFans agrees with. Because you're stealing someone's intellectual property. Yes. If you like it or not, it's their property. Okay, so not only are you guys looking at harassing people and using authorities to harass people and then slut-shaming people and slut-shaming sex workers and telling sex workers that they can't be good parents and it's not legitimate work, which it is. We signed a W-2 form, which means not only are, are, we, are we doing a job, but it's a government-recognized job. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, the government recognizes prostitution as a form of income now. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, oh, oh. And no, CPS isn't going to take the kids. No, they're not. And the police aren't going to do anything because the police officer we talked to said you were at your rights to do what you want to do in yes, your own bedroom. Exactly. And you're not a threat to your children because you're in your bedroom. Yeah. I mean, if we were doing it in front of them, there would be a, a, a problem, I think. But yeah. since we're doing it in our bedroom when they're asleep yeah. or at school yeah. or during our downtime... No, I'm glad we're saying this because we're sticking up for sex workers. Yeah, I because we're not the only yeah. sex workers who have been abused by fucking judgmental twat burgers like you. Yeah, and they're probably fundamentalist Christians, right? Because I'm trying to block the place. You know, we're Christians. Ooh, get film deal with Vivid. Vivid would love to work with Shani. Oh, really? Well, they ain't gonna save me from nothing. Although I am, as you can see, my body's getting better. Well, I'm strictly you only, unless it's Trisha Paytas. That's the thing. Yeah, I mean, if you wanted to really be a porn star, I do chicks. I wouldn't do guys. I don't like men. You would do only lesbians. I would do lesbian porn. Hey, I don't like men. If you want to do so. that, I support him. Because it's like, this is something that really makes me happy. Aries, there's already an emoji from the stream already. Oh, sweet. An emoji? Yeah, we already got an emoji. We're already me, baby. Oh, we're already me. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, Shannon, here's the thing, okay? Wow. What people have to understand, very simply, is that this internet world is crossed over so bad. Like, it's like, it's like this is a really bad way in our lives. That we did really, we really did actually tell people to hand in the high-rise park. Yeah. We had to do that. That's how bad this got. Okay? We're no longer in the United States. And we are in Tokyo. And let's see, our names are even covered in where we're at. It's the, if, you, we only get packages by phone. This, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, this is a bad, bad, bad burn that I got when I used to smoke weed. 
Yeah. Yeah. Be careful with your dabs. You may burn your boob. Yeah, be very careful. But it's healing pretty good. It is. The tumor. Tell them about your tumor. Ooh. Ooh. Can you give it to me? Oh, yeah. You have no clothes on. Don't come on camera. I'm not coming on camera. That's right, life guy. If you don't have haters, you're not doing life right. Can we use your content? No, you cannot use my content. Absolutely, you can't use our content. If you use our content, then we have every right to sue your ass. Yeah, and it's gonna be for a lot. So anyway, this is like, a, like if you have like a really bad burn on your chest, um, I suggest getting this. This is a turmeric mask, and it's got like incredible. Like, let me show you what it has. It has turmeric in it. It has aloe vera. It has um, neem, olive oil. Uh, let me see. Shea butter, green tea. It just has a bunch of like all these natural ingredients in it, and it just you just put it over your wound and let it dry, and then wash it off, and it, it just it heals so good. So, and I've had this for a really long time. It just very slow heal for some reason. Yeah. Plus, I like to pick, so whatever. I don't know. Trisha Pilly just has fucking wonky boobs, and she, you know, she's good at what she does. So I can have wonky boobs too. You gotta listen to Marilyn Manson on the scat picking. Don't pick those scat girls, you will. Right. Oh, they had about me nowhere. That's a good song. I love it. Ew, I can smell this video through my phone. Ew. Oh my god. Oh, then, then you must be smelling some really expensive bath salts mm -hmm. and lavender bath bombs. You're smelling this right now. Actually, Dad's linen well, well, that's what you're wearing. I just put that on. Yeah, Dad's You see that? You see that? You see that bougie right there? Ha! Huh? Lush. That's how <laughs> the porn stars. Do you know what porn stars end up absolutely being? Ooh, like? really good smell for you ladies. Really good freaking smell. What? Oh, that's This is a Brazilian beauty product. It's called Brazilian Crush. It smells so good. It's like macadamia nut, yeah. vanilla. Oh. Are you going to do me a favor and spray that on yourself right now? Here, hold oh, my phone. Yes. Right here. Okay, here. Because this stuff smells so amazing. Tell them what's the company that makes it. Oh, God, that smells so good. I don't know what. You can get it at uh, Sephora. You can get it at Sephora. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty fucking. Oh, Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Sol de Janeiro. Yeah, get some of this. Yeah, I think I think this is like thirty nine dollars, but yeah. I've had this for a really long time, and it like takes forever to empty this. Like, and I wear it every day. Oh yeah, this. Oh, the best. Okay, this is some bougie. This is bougie. This is yeah. bougie. One hundred forty dollars bottle. Yeah, this is a hundred. This is a hundred and forty dollars bottle of perfume. And it's 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 it, it, it's it's almost gone, but it's it's creating Dior's joy, and it's oh. So I spent two hundred and forty, or well, he spent it. It was gifted to me because. I got a little Ipsy bag and it had this Christian Dior Joy, like a little like trial size thing of it, and I loved it so much. So he decided to go to Sephora and pick or what? Or, or Dillard's. He went to Dillard's and got me some Dior Joy. Okay. It was so romantic. Yes. But this is thirty five dollars. So if you want to go like good smell, like good, oh, like this, this is like it's hot. It's like going to Brazil, okay? It's tropical goodness. How about the asses on those chicks? It's like you. Yeah. In Brazil. My bum bum cream. My bum bum cream is really paid off. I've seen my twerking videos. Holy shit. Ooh, can you get the bum bum cream? This is why my ass is looking so good, like, you guys. Okay? This is, like, Brazilian, like, science fiction, like, cream from heaven. Yeah. Wait, just don't. Let me show the cap. Ooh. There you go. There you go. Sorry. This is Brazilian bum bum yes. cream, obviously, from the same company. Bum bum. Um, and it's infused with uh, guarana extract. So, it's meant to tighten up cellulite and make your ass tighter, and I'm just saying... It, like if you look at that one, that one like revenge porn that Alex, I write Alex put out of my ass when I was bent over. My ass looked good there, but now it's significantly smoother now yes. because I've used this. That stuff works. Yes, it does. Yeah. Then it was at that time. Mm -hmm. Which good. And you have you have a contour. Yes. In your ass now. Yes. Because you're muscle. People think are like, oh my god. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, she is not muscle. Oh, really? I'm fat? Can someone do ass claps like I can with no muscle in their ass and it's just that? No. No. It takes muscle to ass clap. It, I, I, I hope you mean that shit. It takes muscle to ass clap, okay? Correct. <laughs> oh my god, we got Taj Point on Wolf looking at us right now. What? For real? That guy's pretty cool. We would like to feature you on our show. Please do, Taj! Oh, I'd love to do a mukbang with you, Todd. Oh, let's mukbang, dude. <laughs> okay. From, um, yeah. All right. Go to S-E-G-A-T-T-I-S-07 at gmail.com and put the release forms in there and I'll look. No, this is actually going to go down because right now there's government, like, things going on because the government has to step in now. Yeah. Where you're going to have to put your ID and your personal information down yeah. so you can't make stock accounts anymore to harass people. Exactly. 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 It, it, it's just simple like that. I, because the bad actors ruin it for everybody. Yep. Again, so we gotta make the internet less free because of sex.
Yeah. Yeah. But you know what? My personal safety comes first. Yeah. These people are psycho. So you wouldn't even get what I need. It's so bad now. Yeah. He had cost her phone. Is I need to do for business inquiries only, and we need to we need to make our own, like a separate email for business inquiries only. Yeah. Right. You can do that with Comcast. Yeah, they have email accounts. Yeah, you can make a Danny and Red, Red Zone or only, yeah. only, only fans, Danny and Red at Comcast.net. I mean, you see how seriously crazy these people are. How they try to go through links to try to information like i'm glad you guys are seeing this though because this is a good lesson for you guys too to be warned and be how to be more smarter about giving your information to people who say they're this or that like really yeah. you, you shouldn't give your information to anyone online anyone even if they try to throw you a little fish yeah your safety is far more important than that shit especially i'm gonna say it right now especially for charlie gold yeah i feel so bad for charlie gold right now yo somebody really what's up twisted milk jake yeah, someone's having it out for Charlie Gold, and it's like, why don't you leave Charlie Gold alone? Yeah. This is you know. We got through this so long, it's like, it's so horrible that they do people. It is horrible. But you know what? I'm not going to go offline, and neither is my husband, because you know what? If we go offline, they win. Yeah, that's And then the bullies take over some more. Yeah, it's true. Oh my god, what a shock Charlie responded to Chantel. Oh, oh wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> tell, tell me something I don't know. Why isn't she responding to her? <laughs> What's up, Truth Done? It's true. Wow, where's the truth teller? Truth teller? I used to love the Calvin and Elvis. I don't know. He had a picture of the Kit Kats for a while, and he plays with his Kit Kats on, on, on his channel. Oh, yeah. He plays with his Kit Kats. I feel so bad for my future husband. He's only got like 14 people, and I got like 50. That's incredible, man. Like, that's just so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you guys give me a thumbs up and love me some? Yeah. Bye, the cart. Um, all the dogs just hate They wish be me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna change this to Red and Shani. After Dog episode 3, baby. Yeah, shout out to John Grishala. It's Sabbath. It is. Shabbat Shalom. Like, yeah, true. True. Loving the new hair color. Thank you, Twisted Milkshake. That looks good. Your hair looks awesome. Will you please go live when your young limbs are taken away and can finally be happy and have a normal... What makes you think they're not happy and having a normal good life? Right. And what makes you think they're going to be taken away? And what makes you think they're young limbs? My son is a teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're acting like... I know. That's because my mom has this thing in her head where she, like, like for the longest time, she like, was, like, six. And I was like a teenager, yeah. and then when I became an adult, she treated me like with 14. <laughs> like, she has to have this constant control over me. Yeah. So, yeah, that. yeah uh, absolutely. And she's been, she probably doesn't even know what the boys' ages are, frankly. She's never celebrated one birthday. They've ever had. Oh. She's never given them birthday presents. She's never given them Christmas presents, even. I've celebrated birthdays with your boys more than your grandma or your mother. I know. So, she probably doesn't even realize how old William actually is. William's 13. Yeah, that's how long he's been out in life. Dumb bitch. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not going to treat you with respect because you're not my mother. No. You're a crazy lady on the internet who says you're my mom. Yeah. My mom never existed. I never had a mom. I never did. She's just a crazy lady on the internet saying she's my mom. She's not my mom. Mom is in the grave in Pennsylvania. Yep, my mom is in the grave in Pennsylvania. Her name was Eileen Egroff. That's who my mother was. Your middle name is Eileen. Exactly, and I have her name. Yes, you do. That's not a coincidence. No. You're my perfect girl. And my mother would love you. Adore you and the boys. Exactly. Exactly. What you are suffering from, you haters, is mob mentality and you've allowed your mind to go into a state of delusion where you think that your thoughts are real and reality when the fact is you really don't know what's going in my household other than you seeing me hold a camera in front of my face yeah exactly that's all you know everything else is in your head yeah and you're presented as facts Crazy. that is the definition of delusional i mean would you would, do you really want to go and try to prove the fact that you actually know what's going in my household huh. you really want to prove that fact you really want to go and do that challenge Have you been hacking our Apple <laughs> yeah Thank you, Random Bot. I think 
Thank you so much. Ooh. You want to get started soon? Oh. I guess break is over. I guess we got to go back to work. We got some things to do. No, I'm just chilling out. Right? I'm just chilling out, and I'm so bad about movement I don't think people need to know that here. I'm telling you, sorry. Sorry. No filter. None. No filter. Yeah, I have to go to etiquette training. I think it's you being a hermit for so long. Yeah, that's exactly And you've lost your ability of knowing what to say and what's right. You're right about that. You're right. <laughs> You're right. But because I was that way, I was very precarious when I went out. I got my booze and cigarettes, so I made friends with the people that sold me booze and cigarettes. So, I did. I love Bob, the old guy. Right? He got himself a piece of shit. He was way rubbing up on you. You remember? <laughs> he was helping me like that. That's cool. Bob liked you. Yup. For a bruise, I thought. He said she seems like a wonderful, very attractive girl. Uh, he does speak what crosses his mind. He, and he's ADD, so it's it's like, it's yeah. a deadly combination. Yeah, I'm sure. It's like one area he's in this direction, another he's in this direction. Yeah. It drives me crazy too, trust me. It, yeah, it does. The ADD drives me crazy, but it's it's something he's dealing with. Yeah. It, it's something that we're working through, and it's okay to work th things. And, and you know what? Here Here's a good thing, and, and this is good positivity right here. It is okay to not be okay. Yes. Because you know what? People have problems, and you know, there are times where you have to wait to get your problem solved. Yeah. And it doesn't give the person room to grow and to flourish. Because you know what? Damn it. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone is flawed. Everyone sometimes has moments where they fuck up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But here's the thing. I don't think anyone deserves to be continually hated over their mistakes. That is so abusive. Yeah. It is abusive to hate on someone who's trying to fix themselves, trying to better themselves as a person. And you're constantly cutting them down and reminding them of their past over and over and over again. Yeah. And, 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 and especially a past, you really have no idea what it is or what it's about or what actually happened. You just hear stories. You know, you know the game of telephone where someone says one word and you pass it around and at the end of it, it makes absolutely no sense to what the original statement was? That's basically what you guys do. You play telephone with stories, and your stories get so fucked up that you can't even tell what's real from fiction. Yeah. You're delusional. It makes you delusional. Can we see your knees? Awesome. Yeah, there you go. There's, there's my knee. Get a knee shot. How about that? Ooh. Wow. <laughs> you don't deserve to grow. You will suffocate us all. No. Oh. That's original. Well, you know. Yeah, that's original. Mm -hmm. I, 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 you suffocated me enough, so yeah. get off my channel. Fuck off. I watched you get arrested on YT. Yes, and why is that? Because these people um, abused their power being a correction officer, yeah. took their, took what they were supposed to do in their job, abused their power in their job, stole the videos, and put them on YouTube. So they actually broke the law by putting those videos on because they're not supposed to be doing that and using videos for personal use. Right. Yep. Fuck on that shit. That's, that's why it was. I saw you laughing because someone died. I didn't laugh because someone died. Oh my god. I laughed because I didn't have to be bullied by that person because they called CPS on me for over eight years and tried to tell a bunch of lies about me. So yeah, I'm not sad that they died. That's not me laughing about it. That's me not caring and not feeling bad over someone dying who was abusive toward me and my children and disrupted my family for so long. Yeah. I don't feel bad over it. And, and you know what? This whole little false outrage, you guys didn't even give a fuck about Trevor anyway. No. You always fucking ignored him. And you always told him he was an asshole. But now that he's dead, oh, now he's a good guy. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah. That's really funny. Fucking phonies. Yeah, complete fucking phonies. Shannon, what's your definition of cancel culture? People going around to expose someone and, tell, and going around to everyone that they talk to. And telling them, you can't be with that friend. You can't be with that person. Because they did this. And it's usually something stupid, small, and dumb. Immaterial, yeah. Completely immaterial. You speak a lot of truth. I know I do. I'm a truth speaker. I don't hide anything, and I definitely don't lie about anything. And I'll be like Al Pacino, even when I lie. Or wait, I tell the truth, even when I lie. That's right. It's true. It's very true. Fucking Scarface. Yeah, it's a great movie. Guys. <laughs> what is the link to your OnlyFans? Hold on, Puddins. Oh, thank Jesus. I can't do it. Can you put the link down? Yeah, I can do it. Thank you. Yep. Oh, crap. Sorry. I was just going into that. Yeah, I would get out of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I may have her request on OnlyFans. Let me look. There we go. Yeah. Do I, like, become a seal or something? Well, yeah. Okay. Wait. <laughs> do you realize how many men watch me and pay me? Do you honestly think these fat jokes and trying to make me feel ugly is going to work when I know there's motherfuckers out there paying to see me? Yeah. Exactly. 
I'm not ashamed of my body. I love my body. I think I'm beautiful. Okay? You can go and try to do the little victim you know, thing and, and try to make me look like the enemy for not being all sad or, or pretending that I'm sad because that's what most of you people do. You pretend that you're sad when someone dies. That's right. So you can look good. Yep. Definitely true. 100%. None of you gave a fuck about Trevor. Let's just all be honest. And then you... And then automatically... Go fund me. Let's have a go fund me for him. He's... Okay, first of all, when I die, do not make a GoFundMe for me. I do not want no damn GoFundMe for me. Never gonna happen, no. I don't need money to bury anybody. Nope. I don't need money to bury my baby. Exactly. Bury you in a nice place. In the back of my head. Goodness, fuck me. Good on you. Tell them what's up. Yeah. I'm not afraid of your threats anymore in CPS in the class. Oh, it's Oh, I'm gonna call CPS. I'm gonna take your kid from you. You think just because CPS it comes in your life, they automatically take your kids? Do you know what needs to go? What kids need? What you need to prove to an actual court in order to have kids taken away? You have to, you have to prove neglect. Yeah. You have to prove abuse. And unfortunately for you, dumb fucks, you can't prove any of that because we let CPS come willingly in our house at any time. Yeah. Because we have nothing to hide. So go ahead. Be narcs. Be tattletales. I mean, I mean, I mean, let's look at drag. You know, what kind, what kind of black man narcs? Ah. Like, seriously, what kind of black man narcs? A bit. Okay, you can go call me racist all you want. I don't care. I'm just listening. You know, I have plenty of fine, fine brothers looking at me right now, okay? They love my fucking ass. That's right. Okay? And they are beautiful brothers. Yep. Beautiful, beautiful black men. Yeah, who I would love to adore and smother my body all over them. Oh okay? Wow. But you, sir, you, sir, you're a black man who narcs. You're a black man who knocks on everyone. You're a bitch. You're bitch made. And you're always gonna be bitch made. Cause you narc. Yeah. Narc. Oh, narc! You'll be happy to see that. Yeah, you'll be happy to see this. What? That. The anti atheist Him. It was oh! Cause he was gone. Action. Hey folks. This is a world where you always you forever and always until the return of the Messiah and the establishment of his righteous kingdom on earth. The human race will always need a villain. The human race will always need some entity to point at and go, that's the enemy. Osama bin Laden was that. This is a deep video, but I'm going to try and make it succinct so that people will actually hear the message. 9-11-2001. The boogeyman was created for the 21st century. And that is Osama bin Laden. Then we had Barack Hussein Obama kill, allegedly kill, Osama bin Laden in a raid. Right? So our Goldstein, the 10 Minutes Hate, 1984 by George Orwell, a.k.a. Eric Blair. The 10 Minutes Hate. They would put up Osama bin Laden's picture and go, that is our enemy. This is a tribalistic uh, sociological problem in the human race, that there always has to be a bad guy. Now we're in the era of Trump, where we have a president that acknowledges that all of these wars in the Middle East for oil were bullshit, that we are not the world's policemen, and this bullshit in the Middle East of, bur of bombing brown people for no reason is over. So he is attempting to dismantle the New World Order system and, and apparatus because he knows that in many ways we are the kings of the New World Order. Do you get it? Shout out to Al Jorgensen from Ministry. I'm kind of looking like Al currently with the totally goth metal hair dude. Do you get it? So here, here's the deal. Here's the story. There's a dialectic that's always played. There is a it's a play. That's exactly what it is. That's why Shakespeare, who is a brilliant writer and mind, wrote under... It's, William Shakespeare was a pen name. The man himself was named Francis Bacon, who was an absolute renaissance individual. Very brilliant mind. Okay? But yeah. And, um... I'm trying to think of the words here. Sorry. A little distracted. Um... That's okay. I, you ha I, there's no reason you can't make a video, too. I'm just thinking to myself. and Because I have thoughts here. Yeah, Francis Bacon. Very, he said that the world is a stage and we're, we're all just mere players in it. There's a script that plays in the background, spiritually and otherwise, physically. 
in the physical realm. There's there's a script that it, that its core is the spiritual world, and God is guiding these um, steps in the chronological timeline of of Earth. He's guiding these these milestones. The chief among them being the crucifixion of his son at Calvary, which is the most important event in history, because it made it possible that creation can exist still after the fall. Okay. The Messiah showed up right on time to make the sacrifice to keep away entropy that entered the world in Genesis 1. See, this is extremely deep stuff, folks. There was iniquity in the world before Adam and Eve even. That was their test that they failed too. But the point is, you're beautiful. The point is, there was a, there was a deluge, there was a wiping out of the creation in Genesis 1-2 with an indeterminate amount of time between Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. There's an indeterminate amount of time between those verses. There could have been 15 billion worlds created and destroyed in the, between those two verses. Do you get that? So this 6,000 year bullshit of fundamental funky Christians is really dumb. Okay? If you want to believe it's 6,000 years old, that's your own personal ideology that has basically no bearing in the Bible because you base all this off of genealogies. Okay, the first man is Adam. So, there could have been 15 races of beings, aside from human beings, that interacted with the Creator between Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 and Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. There could have been hundreds of trillions of years of development of alien races before Adam. Do you get that? But you don't get that, because you'll say I'm a heretic for teaching that. It's there in the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. And... And the earth became uh, form and without, without form and void. That meant that, that that creation of the earth was destroyed because something bad happened. There was a mistake or something, not something went wrong in that creation. And it went so bad that the Lord doesn't even bother getting into what happened in that era. Okay? Which, which could probably be written in the next Bible text of another race in the, in the future. Because the Creator isn't done at our end. We just ascend to... We ascend so much in consciousness and love and compassion, which is the message of Christ and all of the masters, okay, if you want to go into New Age stuff, because I'm comfortable talking about that. I was there, I was there and back. I, I came to the conclusion just like Carlos Santana, the guitar player. He was, a, he was a Mexican Catholic. He went down every road, occultism, witchcraft, Satanism, uh, all of it. And he said, I just, I went every road spiritually and I came back to Christ organically. It just led back to Christ for, he was into everything, okay? Do you know the name of Santana's album, the one album that was the most popular he ever did back in the day? It was called Abraxas. Do you know what that is? That's the serpentine spirit, Abraxas, okay? I mean, they basically tell you what they're into, okay? He was a Satanist. And he said, I've been down every spiritual road and it, ro it, led, it led right back to Jesus. It's all Jesus. So Carlos Santana is a, is a devoted Christian. That he explored every route and he came back to Christ. Hallelujah. That's a testimony. A major testimony from a very brilliant, talented musician. It's Carlos Santana. Okay. Oh yeah, the Satanists were probably pumping his ego so hard, folks. His name is Santana Sat Satan Sat Satanus Satanus. Ave Ave Satanus. Okay. That is that's the name of Satan in in in, in uh Latin. Satanus, the accuser. Lucifer. And then you have you have the Catholic Mass within the last uh, uh, three to four years that they're singing they're singing praises to Lucifer in, in Catholic Mass. What? Did I just miss the memo? And, and, and Lucifer never fell? Catholic Church? The Pope? Holy shit, that's weird. Why are priests and cantors, if you want to call them that, choir people singing to Lucifer in Catholic Mass? That's fucking weird. So yeah, my wife is wonderful and patient. I think she wants to do a video. No, she doesn't? No? Okay. I just don't want, I don't want to take too much of her time if she was contemplating a video and I, I don't want her to lose her thoughts. By the way, shameless plug, go to OnlyFans.com and look up Shani, the number four, Christ, and subscribe to her on her OnlyFans. Uh, there's some famous people that have signed up for her, folks, actually. I, I wish I could say it, you know, but I shouldn't, right? It's a motherfucking D-O-G-O-G. Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. Uh, we could say it, yeah. That's a great song. I never was a fan of rap in general when I was in high school, but Snoop was a cool motherfucker always. I, you know, I heard Gin and Juice probably 70,000 times in my life, you know? Yeah, my, I love Snoop. 
it, he is amazing. So, yeah, he's, let's just say he's a Christian brother, and he partook in some enjoyment, I think, of seeing my, my wife. So, he simply subscribes as S. I love it. You know, that's amazing to me, babe. He's like, 15 bucks? Fuck yeah. i pay that 20 times over to see Shani. It's true, folks. It's a truth that, that she's amazing, so. She's the coolest and sweetest, most loving, amazing girl on the planet. You know, that's Stagitsky. Stagitz. <laughs> Stablinsky. Stabrinsky. But you're not going to be her husband, dude. I'm sorry about that. You know, I, I found the unicorn on the side of the road and I picked her up. You know, and I she's mine now. The pink unicorn's mine. Now, Trisha Pay is the rainbow unicorn. That's Trisha. Trisha's the rainbow unicorn. Okay? She's still available, apparently. What did you just say? So this is literally Cam Hoare type attention seeking. Okay, that's fair enough. You do love that. You can. Can we say that? I'm assuming she has help. No, you're assuming. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad that's the assumption here, Shannon. Okay? So Mr. Staggots. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Staggots. Uh, Mr. Hoagie Staggots. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Subway Sandwich Staggots. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't help it. His name is funny. I like your name, it's very weird and cool. Yeah, you you have flow. I, he's great. You make good music, too. Which is definitely hot to Shannon, I think. So. She likes it when I play the piano, even though my skills are of a seven-year-old that hasn't played for 30 years. Okay? Thank you. She loves the way I play the... I have to record that tune I heard. But I have to get in a headspace to play it. Because it's all memory. For, I was seven, man. And it was a tune that was in my head since I was se at least seven. Maybe smaller, four. It was a tune in my head. And when I got my hands on the, the organ, not the piano, I was trained in organ, uh, it, my fingers like instinctively went there to these keys. And it's a big span, but it sounds haunting. It's a haunting song. Like how you imagine maybe a funeral dirge or something. It's very, maybe it's the song of Moses, the new song. I don't know. The Lord, would you do that? Use a child? He would use a child to give that song. It's that's the song. It's like a funeral dirge. It's very strange, but that was in my head at a very young age. Is that sort of schizophrenic Mozart shit? I'm gonna light the fucking filter to my cigarette, folks. I hate when that happens. Shout out to Amanda Breck. Shout out to Amanda Breck. I, my, my wife is wonderful, and she served as a Siri-type Android figure to, to, to read my to read your messages to me. Because I have... Dude, listen, this is to Amanda Breck, man. I've been almost secluding myself from fucking social media of any kind, especially Facebook, Twitter, and, and yeah, I was going to say MySpace. Uh, YouTube, for this reason. This is to Amanda Breck to explain shit. Because these people have gotten onto me now, and my wife. Uh, I think it's like the same type of crew that tried to take you out. Do you understand? Giving you new teeth, and then and then and then they had a fucking listening device in your teeth or whatever, and your head was buzzing, and you were oh losing your mind. Trisha that's badass, dude. Oh, that's cool. Oh my, she's the Bachelorette. Yes. No, yeah. that's gonna be great. Uh, Jason Nash should be a contestant on the show, Shannon. Hey, dude, that's nice. My wife's flashing me her snatch and grabbing her ankles. You can see that at OnlyFans.com. Shannon, the number four Christ. Anyway, Shannon, uh, do you agree with me that Jason Nash should be a part of the Bachelorette show? J yeah, Sean needs to be in it. Jason Nash. Who else? Uh, the cardboard cutout of Brad Pitt. Uh, the cardboard cutout of Keanu Reeves. Right? I do. The alien. the alien absolutely is a part of it. Shannon, hey, I do kind of, I see the resemblance just a little bit now of Keanu Reeves on myself. Now that I dyed my hair black. I kind of see that. But who I look more like than anybody is TJ, the amazing atheist. I look almost, we look, we could be brothers. I look more like his brother than fucking Scotty ever has, okay? The amazing atheist, TJ Kirk. I want to smoke a fucking blunt with you, and I want to talk about Jesus with you. Not the fake Jesus, the real one, dude, okay? Because I know, I know there's a lot of history with Christianity with you, TJ, because of your dad, okay? And I understand there's fucked up shit, but that... That, you should not penalize the Messiah for man's iniquities. Oh your dad's iniquities included. And as far as I know, you respected your dad. That's the most beautiful picture ever. I can't see anything. Anyway, uh, yeah, I want to talk about Jesus with you, Teach. Because the thing is, you're, you, you are taking the iniquities of the church, man-run church. Right? And you're, the, you're hoisting them on Christ, which he would endorse you doing that. But the thing is, Christ would not deal in the ways that these humans have dealt fraudulently. 
He wouldn't deal that way. He would be a righteous steward of money and all that. Jesus. Okay? Here's what you need to know about Jesus. He was the coolest motherfucker ever, dude. Like, in the 70s, they had what was called the Jesus Movement, TJ. And maybe you could do a Deep Fat Fright episode on the 70s Jesus Movement. That would be a good episode. Uh, Jesus was the coolest motherfucker ever. He was a rebel. He, he was not part of the system. The system hated him and crucified him. The Romans and the fucking Jews. The <laughs> that sounds good. The Romans and the Sanhedrin colluded to crucify the Messiah. Okay, that's how it worked. <laughs> Along with fucking Herod Antipas, who could never see straight, never made a good ruling in his life because he was perpetually drunk. Okay? Remember the scene in The Passion of the Christ with the big, the, the chubby dude? Uh, it's fairly in the beginning, it's at the arrest of Jesus. And uh, th this guy is walking around and he's got cheetahs all over the place. He's got cheetahs and there's like these homosexual looking uh, 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 court members of his court. And they're like staggering around drunk naked almost. And, and he's looking at Jesus like, who the hell are you? And Jesus said he doesn't say nothing to Herod Antipas because he's, so, he's such an unrighteous, decadent blowhard. You know, he's just a sack of shit, Herod Antipas. So he just stands there and he's like, don't you know I'm a king? They always depict Herod Antipas as, as, as flamboyantly gay almost too. Like he's sort of, he's like admiring the physique of Jesus and stuff. It's weird. It's very strange. There's always homosexual undertones with Herod Antipas and, and Christ before him. And he like inspecting his body, like with a cane, slapping like his, his legs to see if they, they're strong legs and stuff. Weird stuff like that with Herod Antipas. But the point is, is he's the, Christ is the king. So all these people were, all of the leadership of the planet is pretty much puppetry. And the Lord is guiding the steps of even the evil people and they're playing their role. So I'm 360 now, I'm back to the very beginning of what I was saying. The American people need a boogeyman. It was Bin Laden. Before him, it was, you could say, Saddam Hussein. Before Saddam Hussein, it was, I don't know, Muammar Gaddafi for a few years. We were afraid we might have to invade him because he was doing bad stuff. Then we ended up capping his ass because he started using his own currency. That's right, he was minting his own currency from the oil sales. And, 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 and Lebanon was, uh, sorry, is it Lebanon? Shannon. It's not Lebanon. What country was Muammar Gaddafi head of? Son of a, huh? Libya. You're amazing, thank you. Their prosperity was going through the roof, folks, because he was minting his own currency backed by the oil sales of Libya. So they capped his ass. That's a Federal Reserve hit job. And Hillary Clinton still says today, what does it matter that Stevens died? You know, we got Gaddafi, who was a terrible, disgusting dictator. Yeah, he was actually a fucking benevolent type dictator that if he crossed him, yeah, he would probably fuck you up. But the thing is, the majority of the citizens liked him because he was providing services rendered to the citizenry. You get that? No, the United States doesn't understand that. Donald Trump does. That's why he has put as much money as possible as he can into infrastructure. Because he believes that the American people should get what they pay for in their taxes, which is paved roads, good schools, stuff like that. Do you get that? That's like politics 101. It's very simple shit. But that's why Trump is such a good politician, because he's good with simple. It's keep it simple stupid. And when it comes to politics and government, that's a very good standpoint. And that's why people love Donald Trump. So we'll move on from that. But they need a boogeyman. The liberals attempted to make our own president the boogeyman. That didn't work. It didn't. Okay? People like Trump. And he's probably going to have a 90% winning margin in the next election, at least. But Bernie Sanders apparently looks like he might get the candidacy for the Democrats. It looks like it's going to happen this time. So will there, will there be enough socialist Antifa type resistance to Trump to actually get Bernie elected? I don't know. We're going to see. That would be interesting, wouldn't it? If Bernie Sanders won over Trump. Whoa. That would be pretty nuts. You know? I don't know where the country would go then. I think you'd have a lot of conservatives leave the country. <laughs> Caribou Coffee. This is the best coffee place. 100%. Caribou Coffee. It's better than Starbucks, Dunkin', all of them. <laughs> Christmas tree. Yeah. It's better than all of them. Anyway. Yeah. The Boogeyman. And now the, we're in the age of social media, and 2020 is here, and we're in the era of mediocre celebrity, celebrity dumb. And what you get with this now is lots of harassment. Because when you're a Hollywood star, you could almost say that you're sort of a protected class, because if somebody is stalking you, you get it to the media, you say you get it to, what's his name, you know, Harvey Levin. And he says, look, you know, Miley Cyrus is being, uh, Miley Cyrus is being stalked by this individual from Ohio, okay? And they're going to go, wow, really? Okay, we got to get at least a police visit out there first. And they, they, they'll start an investigation, especially if it's Miley I'm being stalked, okay? They are sort of a protected class from that. Because the cops will take it seriously. By default, it's Miley Cyrus, right? So, we're in this era of social media where it's, there's lesser celebrities. And we, my wife and I would definitely qualify for that now. We're in lesser celebrity dumb of YouTube, and it's a nightmare because you're not a protected class. The Hollywood elite are protected from this type of shit. Is somebody going to believe necessarily that Miley Cyrus, like, for example, or not say Miley Cyrus, I'll use another example, somebody that has children, like Alec Baldwin. There was that thing with his daughter, and right, with the cell phone conversations with Alec Baldwin's daughter, and he was, they said that he was calling her all these disgusting names, and Kim, Kim Basinger was, like, all over it. Remember that? It's the same type of shit. They'll take, they'll take things that, that are not public domain, that's public, that's not, should not be used to indict people in YouTube videos, and they will twist them and manipulate them to their own devices to make money. That's what you're dealing with. 
So the, this is a very fundamental archetype of almost human mind, human consciousness, that there must be an enemy. Oh, there's got to be a wolf somewhere in the bushes to get your sheep. There, uh, that mentality, cancer breeding is awful, right? And that's just a fact. You get cancer from this type of stress, okay? So my bottom line is just to say this to you folks. There are some people out there that are so sick that they, their goal is to create new Bin Ladens in people's minds. Even if it's so minor as a YouTube channel trying to villainize my wife for stupid, the, the craziest of shit that's not even close to truth. But they indict her on these things because they can. Because it's, 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 well, it's internet freedom. And I'm all for internet freedom of speech. But when it's slanderous and you're getting authorities involved and CPS involved, all of this, you're creating such a toxic environment that no one is going to want to be a part of it. Which is why these terms of service agreement thing updates that YouTube did. I'm for it. I don't want kids watching my fucking channel. If you're too young to use the word fuck, you should not be listening to my videos. And in my book, if you're a teenager, you shouldn't be saying fuck. So you shouldn't be listening to me say the word. Do you get it? That's just the end of the story. Right? I love you. Oh, you got food. Cool. My son came in with food. Will's awesome. So, the boogeyman. Wrap it up. Exactly. The boogeyman. They're trying to make boogeymen out of people like me and my wife for no reason other than they need one. So Jesus bless you all and, and don't listen to hate where and, and, and these channels that make money off of slandering people, okay? And to the doc dropper that messaged me, stop it, okay? That I don't endorse doxing ever and I would never use stock accounts to dump people's info. That's cowardly and disgusting. So God bless you. Jesus is coming. That's it. Keep looking up. Shalom. Hey, Logan! Hey, Logan! Here we go. Can you hear me? Yeah. Ha ha, perfect. I hear you loud and clear too. <coughs> so, what do you yes, think? Sir. What do you think of my uh, demon barn output? I don't know, that was... What'd you say? I think you're gonna go to hell. Good, I'd rather go there than an imaginary heaven. <laughs> What have you been doing? I'm just chilling. Chilling? Been up all night? Oh, you were on, so. And you've been streaming earlier. <laughs> um, mo mostly, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I got a few hours of sleep, though. So I'm good. Lucky you. What I would give just to have a freaking night, night of full sleep again. Every night. <laughs> I'm averaging about four nights of sleep a week. <laughs> you just gotta take the you gotta you gotta take a whole bag of kratom. <laughs> Could have been us. Fuck no, I'd never get any sleep on that shit at all. <laughs> yeah, I'd be driving around and making videos. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. So what have you been up to? Talk to the audience here, whatever audience is out there. <clears throat> Give me dead silence. Are you listening? Is that why you're hopping up on there instead of watching it through YouTube? I didn't hear you. I said... Or did you hop on the mic in here in Discord to listen to this instead of watching it on YouTube? No, no. I just want to see what's up. Did you want me to just continue streaming what I have left on this video? Are you dying to see what's next?
Sorry you broke up at the very end. Said, are you dying to see what's coming next? I don't know if it's my internet or not. Here, let me let me re-log because I think I All right. might be having connection issues. Be right back. Kind of interesting, I think. Got some money under management. 100% false. This fat ass is smoking cigarettes and passing robots. I can tell you that for a fact. Because... Hey, hey, Steve, why, why is, is your, your best, best doxing, doxing friend, friend the professional doxer? What's this? What's this right above his video in the news? He claims to be involved with Cicada 3301. Defango, this is his real name, but I'm, you know, Defango has used the connection to suggest inconclusively that he's one of the founders of the QAnon conspiracy theory. Regardless if he is or not, many people sent Steve McRae evidence that the guy he was hanging out with was one, a doxer, and two, a claimed creator of a QAnon conspiracy theory. Now, logically, some of you are going to say, I don't know what a QAnon conspiracy theory is. So let me show you. QAnon is a far-right-wing conspiracy theory detailing a supposed secret plot by an alleged deep state against U.S. President Donald Trump and his supporters. The theory began in October with a post on the image board 4chan by somebody using the name Q, individual that maybe have later grown to include multiple people, claiming to have access to classified information involving the Trump administration and his opponents in the United States. Q has falsely accused numerous liberal Hollywood actors, Democratic politicians, and high-ranking officials of engaging in an international child trafficking ring, and has claimed that Donald Trump feigned collusion with Russians in order to enlist Robert Mueller to join him in exposing the ring and preventing a coup de tat by Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, and George Soros. Q is a reference to the top secret Q clearance. Q and believers commonly tagged on social media posts with the hashtag where we go on, we go all, signifying the motto where we go on, we go all, the conspiracy theory. What the hell is you you are God. Under the name of the storm and the great awakening. Damn. The worst conspiracy theory I thought I was hyper. I thought Who's I was crazy hyper. now, big guy? Alex yes, Jones. Sir. As Team Skeptic and Fight the Flat Earth and Red's Rhetoric and all the people close to Steve have to realize by now, I'm the king debunker. I don't avoid the hard conspiracies where you get docs, where your families get threatened, where this shit happens. I've spent years debunking these conspiracy theories, but I don't just debunk them. I literally investigate and tell you who's behind it, who's profiting from it, who's a political operative, who's not. I put the information out on the internet and then it gets confirmed. I just lost. This is how I got 40,000 subscribers on my main channel, by being the king debunker of YouTube. This is how I got Unirock 2 to blow up when I first went there, because my information has evidence back that backs up what I'm saying and doing, and eventually, something's gonna end up happening where what I tell you about these things turns out to be true. With evidence. Proven. You see, Steve, this is why people were telling you you're fucking with the wrong guy. Not because I go around doxing, because I get to the bottom of things. If I can figure this shit out years ago, before the news, before everybody else knows about it, and put in videos on YouTube and put it out, this is like real world shit, my dude. Then how would it be hard for me to figure out the truth about some stupid internet mystery? How hard would it be for us to figure out the truth about all this other stuff? This is why when I need them from my peeps, they can find it in a split second, because they've done real shit. They are good at what they do. They do it the right way. They do it with journalistic integrity. They fact check. They don't push bullshit. They don't push something if they can't prove it with evidence. I don't know how many streams I did back then telling everybody this. My own following that had followed me since the very beginning, some of them said, you me? gotta be wrong. There's no way that you bumped in to a dude who is literally a definition of a shill and that you ended up investigating it and outing it. Well... What now? <laughs> what now? This is just one of the ones I outed. I outed many of them. And I have a feeling more of them are going to get something to happen where their big mouth winds up getting them in trouble, so they out everything to try to get their asses And I bet more of my shit's going to come out to be proven as time goes on. But I retired from all of this. This is what I retired from when I started doing my nightly live show on Unirock 2 and playing video games and chilling. I retired from something that I did that was real, that was actually, like you know, like real content based on real investigations, based on real work. You get me? 
all the shit we do on the internet, it doesn't have a real world implication. It's just us bullshitting and talking and doing all that. This is what YouTube doesn't allow people to do anymore. The real shit. Because in order for me to debunk the stuff, I had to talk about the stuff. And YouTube doesn't want anybody talking about this. They don't want you saying the keywords. They don't want you bringing it up. They don't want you going in there and doing this. I don't blame them. I moved on. I do something different now. But my point is, I didn't have to rely on another YouTuber to get my views. I didn't have to go around leeching off of everybody. I put my feet on the ground and did the hard work and did it the right way. And proved it to the people. That's why they are so devoted to, to our channel. That's why they participate so hardcore. Because they know that we can literally do just about fucking anything after doing this. Literally identifying paid political shills on the internet, calling it out to the people and telling them who it is. One thing I want to talk to the people in Discord about from back then, remember those people that stood up to try to fuck with us that just seemed like they didn't attach to anything like F and Freddy in them? You know why they did that, right? Remember what I said about him back then? I said he's one of them too, right? Well, here you, here you go. I bet it'll come out eventually sometime too. This is a sad story. If I could, I could do the best video on this. I could do the best video on this. This is a sad, sad story. It deserves a documentary. This man was devoted to the United States. He wore an American flag shirt, an American flag pair of pants, American flag socks, American flag shoes. I don't know much else about him. He just loved his country. And he was killed in the middle of the night during a botched robbery. Because he was close to people that they could say he was close to Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump and these guys and all this, they tried to act like he was killed for stealing the WikiLeaks data from Hillary Clinton that turned out to prove Pizzagate and to prove QAnon. That's who this guy is. That's their ace in the hole. They took a man's death and worked it out and abused his family and abused his life and abused his memory to create a political conspiracy theory so that they could profit. And I called them out for it the entire time. I called out Jason Goodman because you are a shill, Jason Goodman, a political shill. I called out Dave, whatever his name is, Webb, George Webb. I, I showed where George Webb had deposited a bunch of money into another YouTuber's bank account. I showed where another YouTuber named Tracy Beans went to Washington, D.C. and met with a bunch of people in a hotel room and put the story out of the picture of her in the hotel room hugging the people when she tried to say she was dislocated by a hurricane. I, I showed so many things that outed a political sect on YouTube that had been operating pretending to be conspiracy theorists giving the truth. That's why they all hated me and that's, that's how I have a following. But this is the most satisfying story that's been confirmed. Out of all the stories I've done, out of all the pieces of information that I told you about that became confirmed in the future, this is the most satisfying one. Not because of Stephen McRae, but because at the same time that this ding-dong gets proven by the Daily Beast and admits in court that he is a political shill and a professional doxer, at that same time, the most bestest thing ever happens, and Pramink gets 1.7 million views calling out a sisters none other than steve and his buddy 1.8 million views 1.8 million people now know it all the people that read the daily beast and all these shitty newspapers all these shitty fake news sites know it and all i can do steve mccray who i know will get the message i know steve mccray you know what i don't care if you like steve mccray or not hold up i need that a uh, daily beast um, and Potowski. I need this right here. Steve McRae said I was crazy when I told him Defango was a political operative in a professional shill in this news article by the beast defango admits to the court that he is both read it and make sure steve mccray gets the message also just a reminder to all those people who said I was a liar years ago when I told you exactly what is coming out in court right now. Lo, 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 I told you so. Kind of feels good, y'all. Kind of feels good.
People can only say you're crazy for so long until the proof comes out of the damn people's mouths that you identify. I'm going to redo this. Because this is the part that matters. Fango you has used the connection to suggest and conclusively he's one of the creators of QAnon. <laughs> Remember, Steve said I needed mental help because I'm dreaming up conspiracy theories about his friends. Uni's dreaming conspiracy theories about his friends. Uni's crazy. He needs to go to a mental hospital because he's dreaming up conspiracy theories. <laughs> Remember all those idiots? Who were they? Um, what was that dude's name? Sixes or something? And who was the other, uh, remember Go uh, Global Agenda? Remember that ding-dong from back then, y'all? Uh, who else? Fucking Freddy? Looks like you just got fucked, my dude. <laughs> oh, it's just too crazy, dude. It's too fucking crazy. Oh, it's too crazy. And then on top of all of that... What's her name? Lily Jean. Let's go to the last week. So, Lily Jean, remember I told you the Lily Jean story is about to get a lot of attention from some big YouTubers. And everybody said, Uni needs mental health. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uni is crazy. The Lily Jean story isn't going to be covered by big YouTubers. The Lily Jean story isn't going to get millions of views soon. I Somebody go grab that clip from about a month ago so that I can wave it in everybody's face, please. But we got Def Noodles, who has... 263,000 subscribers. I guarantee you Mr. Repsion is doing one with 800,000. We got Pramik with 600,000 who just got 1.8 million views on his video on this. Sixty to four thousand in one minute four days ago. <laughs> Sixty to four thousand in one minute. Lily Jean caught buying fake likes. Refreshing it. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. It's going up. In under one minute, already from sixty to a thousand. Sixty to two thousand. Sixty to two thousand four hundred. Sixty to two thousand six hundred. Sixty to two thousand eight hundred. Wow, looks like Lily Jean was recorded in real time buying fake likes from fake subscribers. You know, you know, I hate to say it. Uh, I really do hate to say it. I, I kind of hate to say it. Actually, do I like saying it? I think I might like saying it. No, I hate to say it. I don't hate to say it. I told you so. on was QAnon. He had the login information, and one day on a live stream, he logged into the QAnon account without realizing that his little thing was open, and everybody could see him do it, knowing that he had the password, knowing that he did. Also, he just he had he had prior knowledge to the QAnon post on the same day or a day or and everybody knew that then I was right. You can't have prior knowledge of the post unless you're involved with posting it. It was him and his friends. Ironically, him and his friends were the ones making money off of the cups, the shirts, the websites, and the YouTube videos. Well, Defango didn't like that, as I said in the last stream, and because he'd been telling everybody for a good month or two that he had created it at a thing called DEFCON that happens in Las Vegas. It's like a hacking convention. Now, they actually do hack at DEFCON, but they do things like hack into water fountains and make them spray. They do things like hack into car alarms. They do innocent things that shows the vulnerabilities in security so that the security companies can upgrade their stuff and it's celebrated. It's not looked down upon like these guys using it for political propaganda. But eventually, the Vango messed with me, he tried to dox me and did all that, and I started looking at him and his friends and quickly put out that he was being paid by a guy named Schoenberger. And then, once it all came out, they started to spill each other's information. Schoenberger spilled something about Topanga, Topanga spilled the from Schoenberger, then Schoenberger would come back and spill the receipts where he paid Topanga, Topanga would come back and spill the receipts. You realize this proves that Lestat is a political operative also, right? You do know this now. This is absolute proof that Lestat is too, just for the people that were around back then, just making sure you know. Lift the Veil, Titus Frost, Defango, Lestat, all those guys. Um, Honeybee, Titus, all of them, Honeybee, all of them are political operatives. This proves it. 
anyway, uh, I told all of them, you are doing all of this, you all have this lawyer who is connected to this guy, Ed Butowski. Ed Butowski's pushing the rich conspiracy to Matt Couch, I called out Matt Couch, I put out videos that proved everything, I then, uh, did a lot of videos that exposed it all, and once I had exposed it all, I moved on to other content and put it all behind me. Then, it all came out and we found out that they were being sued by Matt Couch's, or I'm sorry, by Seth Rich's parents because information when these guys fought with each other that got spilled out, a person gave it to Seth Rich's parents. They looked at it, realized it was their own communications, PayPal accounts that they've been advertising on their accounts and shit, and sued them. And now they're in court. And in order to keep them out, their asses out of jail, in order to keep their asses from getting in trouble, they're obviously making deals with, with Seth Rich's family so that if one of them comes out and spills all of it, then Mitowski and the rich, because the banker doesn't have any money, he's broke. So if he goes to Rich's family and says, I don't want to be in jail, I don't want to get sued, and I'll give you these guys on a silver platter because I've got the communications to prove it, then Seth Rich's parents can then sue Mitowski, who is rich, and his friends who did this, which they are doing in court, which is where this all came from. But in the process of doing this and saving his ass, making sure he doesn't get sued and he doesn't get face criminal charges or anything, Debango had to admit to the world, through court and through the attorney for Seth, Seth Rich's family, that yes, he is a political operative, he doxes people, he gets paid to do it, he gets paid to do reputation management, and that he is a Republican operative for Ed Mikowski and his friends. This literally changes so much and shows, it, it not only validates all of the stuff that I put out about these guys, it validates some of the stuff I put out about other guys, it validates some of the other stuff, and the biggest question is, how many other of these guys are on YouTube doing videos disguised as conspiracy theories to enact some kind of political thing for a political player? Because that is now proven, it's true. That is now admitted in court, admitted to the uh, attorneys, given all in depositions and everything else. How many of the other ones that we named as political players that we did get evidence on, due to their actions, they are actually political players being paid to do this? Probably all of them. Nobody looks at any of these conspiracy theories and thinks to themselves, oh, these are real. Oh my god, I believe these. Just out of nowhere because I want to. With no evidence. Just because I want people to believe it too. That doesn't happen. People need evidence. They need the truth. This is why normal skeptical people don't believe their bullshit or their conspiracies. You need evidence. These guys buy a hook, line, and sinker and do video after video after video after video every fucking day talking about this stuff. The Veil and all these others. Um, crowdsource the truth. Fucking all the QAnon guys. Every one of these QAnon guys that were working in the beginning are now outed as the same. Because yes, they may not have been political operatives at first, but since they had QAnon, they were also contacted by these kind of people and they can do this stuff. This is how people, and I think that eventually they're going to realize that this is how people mess with. Hey, Logan. Yeah. Do you hear me okay now? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Awesome. Now, when I was playing the video, was there any reverb? Like right now, are you getting any reverb? I mean. What? Speak up, man. No, now. Now you're cutting in and out. Conspiracy theories that are targeted to political things. I hate political conspiracy theories. You wanna know why? I hate political conspiracy theories because I love the real ones. I love mysteries. I love strange stories. I love talking about weird things like whether aliens exist or if the, the thing that happened on that mountain in Germany where those hikers got their faces burned off and their bodies crushed on the top of the mountain if it really was something strange or not. I love that stuff. I love those kind of videos. I like it. I like it if you look at it with a logical mind though. I like it when you look at it with the minds of the bunk, with the mind of the truth, and then understand what happened, not just the mysterious part. And that's what I originally sought out to do on the internet. Take anything strange, put it up on the screen, and then give a logical take on it, and hopefully either the bunker confirm some part of it, right? Maybe you could do that on YouTube again, now that YouTube has fixed their system. I don't want to, fuck, I don't want to take a chance. I truly don't want to take a chance of going back to doing my old content that I could literally knock out of the park, y'all. I could knock my old content out of the park. I could do some banger shit. But I don't want to take the chance of doing it and then YouTube deciding that, ew, you're going to get in trouble for doing it again. You're going to have your videos demonetized and then you're going to have to delete your demonetized videos or else you might get in trouble. I don't want to go through that again. So that, this all is passing. The Steve McRae thing is passing. With one of his buddies literally admitting that he's a political operative, him hanging out with a professional boxer and Republican fucking propagandist, it makes him look really, really bad. And I bet you after people start sharing this document, this uh, news article that proves all of this with his own admissions to the news, Steve McRae most likely will not even call him out, he won't disavow him, he won't admit his mistake, and it's only going to make Steve look even worse, and this is what's going to help make Steve McRae, 
you know, never be able to be anything on the internet other than a low cow. You know what I'm saying? So this whole thing, it's so played out. It's so contrived. It's over. It's over. The last step, the last step is the truth of non sequitur video. That's the last step. Because I don't even know. I might just combine a little thing about the GDC into my truth of non sequitur final video and just be done with this shit all together and move the hell on. Now that the worst possible things that could ever happen have just happened over and over and over and over again, you know? So remember guys that are watching over here on rock a lot i still stream on uni rock too you've got to go ring that bell because you're going to be missing the banger live streams but i do love some tea and i do love updating you on things so i can't promise i won't talk about anything again but this shit's over i'm going to tell you right now the trend of all of this is bottoming out people just it has to sting so fucking bad that he said that, and now all of a sudden Defango lied to him. Because Defango didn't tell Steve about this. He didn't tell Steve, um, Steve, there'll be an article coming out in a few weeks where I admit to being a political operative and a professional doxer for the Republican Party soon. He didn't tell Steve that, because that definitely would have kept Steve off that channel. He kept that from Steve, knowing that if he told Steve that, Steve wouldn't go on his channel. And Steve won't even care. He will not, because if he does admit it, he's gonna. If he admits, if he stops hanging out with Defango, stops talking to Defango, or if he admit, if he publicly disavows Defango after finding out about this, he knows he'll be admitting that I was right. So therefore, he's not gonna stop hanging out with them. He's not gonna admit what happened. He's not gonna, you know, he's not gonna do it because he doesn't want to admit that I was right all along. So. Um, I don't think he will feed the drama audience soon. I really do think he's going to continue listening to his lawyer now that he's gained the 1% of, sa of sanity in his mind. And um, because of that, he's going to let the drama audience take off. And then when he realizes, oh, fuck, I don't have an audience, and he tries to get him back, they're not going to come back. So, yay. That's what I'd say that. For real, we've made history. We literally identified political fucking shills here on, on the internet and outed them so that they lost their power to be political fucking shills on the internet. We then have been vindicated years later. We have given creators the best advice they could ever fucking get, like Steve, and tried to save his damn career by telling him, do not go team up with these doxers. Do not go team up with these guys that are doing this shit. Don't do it. It's bad for your career. It's bad for you. It's not cool. We did the right thing even when faced with all of this evil and bullshit. So um, I'm proud of you guys, man. I am. I'm proud of you guys. I'm not even playing. Not so secret diary. Kathy, War, Jimmy, Kristen, Han, Joel Bot Five, my dude. You know it, my dude. Damn. Remember what we went through, my bro. We it's, it, we'll never forget it, bro. We we will never forget it. We just got vindicated, y'all. Keon, Jimmy, Michelle Miller. Don't ask the high guy. Good to see you, my dude. Did you get into the Discord yet, high guy? Because I'm opening the Discord next week to members. I'm starting with members and then I'm moving forward. Thank you for following, Lucky Evil. Appreciate you. Dove Ke Hang on there, Loken. I'm coming soon. I gotta shut this stream down shortly. Alright, man. And I'll come and chat with ya. In private. <laughs> Unless you got a few words to say before I close her down. Nope.
evil and bullshit. So um, I'm proud of you guys, man. I am. Just a few comments here to read underneath, underneath Unirock's video. The interesting things people have to say. My dog doesn't like this music. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 